So yesterday I came out and did some deep trench soil work on this row. Let me show you. All of this soil mounded up here was over here. So I took the shovel, I dug down about 18 inches, piled all that soil onto this row, and then I backfilled with wood chips into that trench. And now this soil is what I'm gonna plant in. And let me show you more about that. I'm just gonna use a regular garden rake, which is bent all out of shape, but it doesn't matter, it'll still do the job. And I'm gonna rake down through and just kind of incorporate into the top couple of inches. Um, you'll see I put crab meal on top of there. All that white powder is crab meal, which has been reported to help fight root knot nematodes, which I have a major, major problem with at my garden location. So I'm just trying whatever I can to curb their impact. Um, I really can't report if it works or not. This is only my first year using it. Um, so we'll see, but that's what I'm gonna do now. Just gonna cultivate that in. I also put a little bit of 10-10-10 um, granular fertilizer on top, so that'll boost the nutrient content. And then I will plant these herbs. There's a cutting celery, there's dill, and I'm also gonna use some garlic that I had left over in the fridge from a harvest back in May. So it's ready to go in, it's been cold treated, and let's go ahead and do that. This soil is a work of art. <laughs> it is a labor of love. This is something I've been working on for years uh, to just have dark, black, humusy, organic rich soil. I mean, it's it's a dream come true, and it's a dream that I have worked for. And it's this process of digging it out, backfilling the trench with the wood chips, planting in what I had dug out, and at the end of this season, I will flip all of this over on top of these wood chips and plant over here and then I'll backfill here with wood chips. Anyway, just the back and forth process builds this deep reservoir of really like a compost. And it's just, I'll, I'll do it with every row, one at a time. It's, it's very labor intensive, but wow, does it ever pay off over time. And I think I'll plant the garlic kind of on the trellis side Obviously not because it's going to use the trellis, but because it'll be out of the way where it'll need to be for the next five months. Uh, so I'm just going to plant these bulbs uh, on the trellis side where I won't need to access them. I can just let them do their thing. And I'll plant the things I want to use more often, like the dill and the cutting celery, out on the aisle side so I can have easier access to those. Something to remember is to pick out the largest cloves that you have, and that's what you want to plant in the ground. There's a correlation between large bulbs at harvest and large cloves at planting. Now, you know, confession, none of these cloves are actually large, but they're the largest that I had. So I'm planting the largest of my cloves, I'm leaving out the smallest of the cloves, and quick math, 30-foot row planting every six inches gives me a need for about 60 cloves, which I think I have here. Um, garlic doesn't like to be crowded. So if you're anything like me, I want to cram in as many things as possible into my space. So I know that some of you look at my space and think, wow, it's a huge garden. Um, I wish I had more space. And I'm always cramped for space. The more space I have, the more things I want to plant, and the more of each thing. So um, don't crowd the garlic. It will not grow as well. Um, even if you feed it more and give it more of what it wants, it just hates to be closer to its neighbor than about six inches. So give it six to nine inches, 
Um, I'm gonna just give it six, but do give it space. Don't put them closer than that or you will get smaller bulbs at harvest, okay? I'm gonna try something different this year. I usually keep everything separated out in the different rows, uh, more just because of the cycle of planting and harvesting to keep it easier for myself. But I really have found that with some things, like herbs, I end up having way too much if I plant a 30 foot row. Even sharing and giving it all away, you know, herbs are probably the most generous thing you can plant. So I got these scallions that have been struggling under the shade of my bananas. And I'm gonna mix them in, you know, every third one with the cutting celery and the dill and just do a row all mix and match of that. 